Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Pablo's cracking it's D about to react to this Albert and Preach video titled How Not to Take Rejection. Okay, it's some more ratchetry on the Papa Balloon uh, show. <laughs> Listen, I just randomly watched a clip of the, the one with the Ninja Turtle Man, and I was cracking up. That that episode was so iconic. Like, it, it was so funny. Uh, but yeah, let, let's see how this one is, though. Let's watch. 34. Mm -hmm. How many kids do you got? I got three. You got three? Oh, yep. How many baby daddies? Three. I have three. Mm. How many baby daddies? Two. Mm. Two? Okay. So you didn't think after the first one that you wanted to marry the next one? I do think it's wild that so many of these people have multiple baby daddies. All right. Um, somebody wanted us to cover this. So apparently um, <laughs> this is some interesting interaction from Pop the Balloon. Hello. Welcome in. I'll have you hold this. Hey, how are you cute. doing? Man? Good, good. How are you? Can we get Ready. your name? My name is Brian. Brian, how old are you? I'm 40. Well, he look like he look like he coming in ready to judge. Like you can just talk about his stance, the way his hand is like, and the look on his face, like mm mm. Temper. Okay, it's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> and look how he do his hand. I'm an aircraft mechanic Very for a major airline. Okay. Ooh. So yeah. I fix planes. Major. Once you airline. get home safe. <laughs> we appreciate you. Pop. What you say? What you say? It's just a vibe. Yo, yo, why you shake your head? It's just a vibe. What's the vibe? You know when you meet somebody and like they bad oh. news? Oh, okay, okay. I thought that he meant... Okay, I was thinking something else when he said survive. I thought he meant like, oh, he a vibe. And I'm like, wait, what? But no, he's saying the vibe that he's giving up. There's, yeah. there's something about people, up. you know what I mean? I can't explain it. You can't explain it. I, I can't, I just did. There's, there's, there's no... He it's comes across kind of pretentious and like... Listen. Now, uh, what are some things that you uh, like to do for fun? Things I like to do for fun. Um, I like trail riding. Ooh. I live in Houston. Okay. I'm from New Orleans, but I like to ride horses. I'm a country, country guy. Okay. okay. I'm still city, but you know I like to do country things. Uh, I like to read. Um, I'm from the ghetto, but I am a nerd. <laughs> I like to go to lounges. Right. Like I like to museums, but I like to stay home with a good movie. But I like to make money. I like to make money, but I, I, I'm, I'm poor. I, 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 I'm from a poor background, but yeah. I like to make money. But I like to eat, but also fast. Yes. <laughs> I like women, but boys. <laughs> 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 All right, let me start. Let me start. Well, I dabble and dabble. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now, what are some things that you're looking oh, for in a woman? Transparency. I was laughing there. For sure. Transparency. Okay. If, if I can't like see who bad. you are. But I also oh. like to, when she's opaque. Yeah. yeah. But I can't see through her. Yeah. <laughs> For men, that's a big thing, loyalty. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to know when you out partying, having a good time, that you loyalty and you faithful mm -hmm. to a man like me. Okay, now what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers? Um, I really don't have deal breakers, right? Because I'm from the ghetto, so I understand that, what? you know, we do a lot of things in our past and that in our... Makes sense. Peace, love. Hey, man. Just because you're from the ghetto doesn't mean you don't have to have standards. You stand. Uh, it's really a problem. Yeah, that's so, that's so really goofy. Deal breakers, but as far as deal breakers, I don't really have any. Okay, all right. So we did get a few pop balloons. Okay. Let's go on over to those ladies, see why they end up popping. No problem. I'm 39. Mm -hmm. and you said and you're 39? 39. All right. And Mrs. Parker, what do you do? I'm a professional yeah, makeup artist. artist. You're a makeup artist? I popped your balloon because you said you don't have any deal breakers, and everybody has to have some type of deal breaker, so yeah, yeah. you have to have something that you don't So like. if she's a crackhead, that's fine? Yeah, that's <laughs> what are we talking about? She looked dapper. If she's a cheater, that's fine? Nice to meet you. It's definitely nice to meet you. Uh, when it comes to deal breakers, I'm not a surface level dating type of guy, right? Yeah. I don't really care about your pants. I'm from the ghetto. I'm from New Orleans, right? Okay, he said it seven times. Right? So, nothing that you've done in your past that's not doesn't what matter to me because that was before me. After me, that's when you upgrade yourself. So, that's why I said I don't have any deal breakers because I don't I, know. No? Okay. You okay. know. Okay, I want hey. you guys, this, this is what doesn't make sense. Context. This man is 40. Apparently, he's incredibly open minded and mm -hmm. he's also going to make you better. How are you single? Man is open to anybody, or very, very open Why to people. He got no deal breakers. Hey, he's gonna make you better, which means he's gonna support you. Cause I mean, I get what they're saying. Because usually, when people are single, if they're as long as they're like, uh, 
relatively attractive, and I, I feel like he's a relatively attractive man. Um, people are usually single because they have standards, because they have deal breakers, and because they they either don't want to date at the moment, but clearly he does. He's on the show, so it's like if you are single, then it's it's usually because you're choosing to be because you haven't found the right person yet. But if he's saying that you could be whoever and do whatever, <laughs> then you shouldn't be single then. If you actually are looking to date and you have no standards pretty much and there are no deal breakers, you can just come as you are because I'm from the ghetto, <laughs> then you shouldn't be single if you'll just accept anybody. So that don't make sense. But he's single at 40. That's normal. Yeah, because if you'll take the, anybody, that don't make oh, sense. Big game, big game, big game. You make someone, like you get with someone, and then you make them better. And then you move on to the next person to make better. Oh, he's just the kindest show. Yes. Or maybe you make them better and they realize, wait, yes. wait, because I'm better, I don't want to be with someone from the ghetto. <laughs> so they leave him. And then they even go and get from the ghetto. He's a victim of his own success. And now, um, is Mrs. Someone that is your type? She de definitely. She got this cowgirl going on. I'm yeah, from the south. Actually, over here. He keep letting us away from him. You interaction. <laughs> let's see if it comes up. Is he from the ghetto or is he from the south? Or is you stupid? Let's find out which of the three it is. Here. If we can have your name and age. Um, hi, I'm Tracy and I'm 37. I'm from New Orleans as well and I live in the DMV. Um, and the reason why I popped my balloon is because I am from New Orleans and just the energy I just wasn't vibing with. Like, I think you're super cool. I love the way that you look. So since we come from the same place, it clashes. Yeah. You know. I, I, I just haven't had really good relationship experiences. Mm, Dating you, people from my hometown. You never Ooh. met Brian. You never met Brian, but today that you did. Because Brian is from the ghetto. The man speaking of third person? Yes. Yeah, so he's done right. saying I'm from the ghetto. No. Brian is from the ghetto. Okay, that's a new move. I didn't see that one coming. My bad. My bad. Third person shit is different. It's not it's not the same. So this is a new slate. My that's bad. a new slate? <laughs> no, someone my... that speaks of himself as the third person has to go. I'm sorry, bro. Listen, Abba disagrees with you. <laughs> Abba one hundred percent disagrees with you. I don't know how Preach feels about this. <laughs> that's that right. more proof that, that he's pretentious. I hate you do that too. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that's Oh, no, bro. I, I spoke to Preach like he wasn't here. <laughs> no. I'm still doing it. You spoke to Preach like you're speaking to me. Listen, I, I think Preach needs to chime in right now because you're acting a bit aggressive. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Brian. You know what I mean? And today, definitely, you was a winner. But, uh, you know, the fact that you're from New Orleans, I respect that because I respect my home and I'm mm. prideful on being a Louisiana animal. Oh, my God. Right? What? That's what and they I call it? I hope not. Louisiana. If you're from, you from Louisiana, please chime in. And I definitely was feeling you, but thank you. You know, since you popped on me, handsome. we don't really deal with rejection too well. Oh. We respect that, mm -hmm. you know, but we move on. And then nice Tracy, to meet you. Tracy, we actually didn't get. What do you do? Yo, I'm the, so, I'm the guy has, he got the similar energy to the. Uh, a oh no! But I told you, think you know the wait, 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 Nice to meet you. We don't take rejection too well, mm -hmm. but nice to meet you. Bless your heart. He's giving. He's giving that right now. Bless your heart. No, you bless your heart. No, bless your heart with kindness. No, you bless your heart with kindness. No, bless your heart with kindness with a cherry on top. No, you, no, you bless your heart with kindness with a cherry. No, you bless your heart with kindness with a cherry on top with root cream. Well, don't make me come over there and bless your heart. I come over there and bless your heart. That is what it's giving. Well, he, he, he would. Yo, hold it back from what's his heart. That's why he's saying because he would. Yo! 
Hey. You know how intimate that is hey. to put your hand Yo. on a man's chest? Hi, I'm Janae. I'm 34. Hello, Janae. Janae, what do you do? I'm in school for fashion design. I'm an office assistant. Okay, and why did you end up popping your balloon for Brian? Hey, Brian. I love the way you speak, but for me, it was the pants. I don't like the pants the too pants. tight. I'm kind of ghetto too, so I like them a little loose. <laughs> What is going on? Ghetto on ghetto violence, bro. She not oh. fucking with him because he got the skinny jeans on. I mean, I it's definitely the like one because they got skinny mm -hmm. jeans on is wild, but I understand it's a fashion thing and everything, so I'm not crazy. I don't know. I mean, I can understand if someone, like, it gives a hit to some people. Yeah, yeah. I can You with snails. Them, it's, it's, I think you know, she just doesn't want to say why. Well, that's just me snails. That's fair. That's okay. So I can't even hate on her stance that much. How old are you? 34. 34. Mm -hmm. How many kids you got? I got three. You got three? Yep. How many baby daddies? I have three. You got three baby daddies. Okay. I should have said zero. Mm. Because it's just me. You gonna lie to the public? No. I have three, but it's just me. I'm a single parent. Okay. There's no man in my life. Okay. There's no man in your life? Nope. Why is the reason boy. for there's no man in your life? They clearly have dipped on her, buddy. They're not taking care of the baby. Well, my first child, his father passed away, oh. and the other two are nowhere to be found. So, what can you do? They do you like that? What's wrong with them? <laughs> something. Mm. Only God knows. Or is there something wrong with you? Oh! Possibly. But I think I'm just fine. I think you're just fine as well. Thank you. Right. Good but to say you. that a 41-year-old man is disqualified because of his pants? You're 41? I'll be 41 in September. So this guy just breathing on you, huh? Say a 41 year old man is disqualified because of his pants. <laughs> you didn't hear that shit? No, but no, hold on. <laughs> Am I crazy? I think you're just fine as well. Thank you. Right. But to say that a 41 year old man is disqualified because of his pants. <laughs> I think he's nervous. His, his breathing is in control. It sounded like you were about to cry. Because it's saying it's saying that that a forty one year old man is just disqualified from one of his pants. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I thought you said forty. That'd be forty one in September. That's coming up. It's I like it. It's okay for you. It's not my style. You know, with everything going on. I like the pants to be a little baggy. Though. Maybe she is just goofy like that. Because, girl, what? I personally don't care about anybody's fashion choices. But, I mean, mm, <laughs> I'm not a fan. And looking at the, uh, is that like snake skin? Or, I don't know. The belt, it, it, it's not my taste. But I ain't fucking wearing it. So, I'm like, as long as you don't look too stupid, then I don't really care. Like, I've dated men where I've definitely been like, hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't have chose to put that on if I were a guy. But it's like, what the fuck ever? That's how you want to look. Like, that ain't my business. You know, I'm where the fuck I want to wear. You wear what you want to wear. So I don't really care uh, personally. So I, I think that is a weird reason to disqualify a, uh, a partner. So maybe that is an indication of why. She got the baby daddies. I don't know. That's all. Where you from, love? Kansas City. With everything going on. Is she talking about like the LGBTQ they stuff? They probably filming in Atlanta. Oh, that's what she said? With everything? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what she said. That's crazy. You said that in Atlanta? Kansas City. Kansas City. Yeah. Okay. How long you been out here? Two years. Two years? Yeah. Okay. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's go out over here. We can have your Everybody. name and age. I am Venusian, 39. And uh, you said Venusian? She looks and like what do you do? Uh, I'm a TikTok creator manager. Cool. And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I'm a free spirited well, woman. So having to check in with somebody like they are my parent is something that I don't subscribe to. So that's why I pop my balloon. What do you mean check in like they're your parent? The way that you were discussing how she goes somebody out. needs to check constantly, um, when we're out and about, to text or call and check in. That's something that I don't just subscribe to, so that's why I pop my balloon. Okay. What do you do? I'm a TikTok creator manager. She said she, she said that already. Right off the top. Yeah, right off the top. <clears throat> you listening. Like we can give me that much. TikTok creator manager? For what company? Or is it for yourself? <laughs> it's for TikTok. The TikTok? <laughs> Even the hostess is like, my God. There, there's, and you know what it feels like? What? It feels like you've had, you listened to a video about uh, 
active listening. And he's trying to I emulate think he's that. Just a he's repeating he's, everything they're saying. He's giving me even a lot the, of even the girl when she said, <laughs> "You remind me of my nephew," <laughs> he responded, "You remind me of my nephew." He said, he didn't say, "I remind you of your, of your oh, nephew." He said exactly what she said. Like, it, 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 it's, it's kind of weird. It, it's, it's, you're not he's listening. Slow. I think he's just. Or maybe slow. he's social media. Have y'all been peeping my problems lately? I hope you've been paying attention, okay? <laughs> if you've been watching me daily, you've been checking out all these videos, as you should. <laughs> would appreciate the support. Um, Then you would have picked up on my, my powers because they have been activated, okay? There's that. Okay, social media? Social media agent, yes. Okay, how many kids you have? I have two. How many baby daddies? Two. Two? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you didn't think after the first one that you wanted to marry the next one? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Yeah, that's a now he's choosing violence now. He's getting many better. How many baby daddies? And, and mind you, the only reason she rejected it is like, I don't want to feel like I have to check in with somebody yeah. when I'm not having fun, which is super yeah. reasonable. She didn't say nothing about his look. She didn't no. say nothing. She says, no. it's just too much for me. So I'm not into that. I don't want to check. How many baby daddies you got? Well, hold on. What are these questions? Yes, he's How many baby, yeah, baby daddies? Were, were, were you the first one he tried to marry, and that's not the second one, so you became the third of the... <laughs> that kind of mathematics you trying to pull out, boy. No. No? Okay. Okay. Yeah, she don't like I was that. just asking because for oh, real man. men, that's what matters. Mm -hmm. Your first one is given. Your second one, the mistake is on you. Oh, oh. Well, there's that's definitely right. Under why I got that's pregnant. That's definitely but right. That's nor here or there, and that's You're not what I'm here for. Okay, definitely. You're a beautiful woman, though. Thank you. But I respect your answer. You know you don't. Thank you. Let's go oh, back here. No. Okay, if we can... I want you guys to watch this, okay? Just because someone appears polite doesn't mean they're polite. He does doesn't not mean they ask your well intentioned or being kind. This is very similar to the turtle thing. And I said this guy's off, but you're kind of seeing it unfold as he gets more rejected. Boy, he's not taking it well. He's not. He's getting more upset, and now he's just trying to find things to really get at them and to hurt them, right? Exactly. And one that's really common is like if you've got children, especially with men. Well, I mean, you don't really have them with men, but you know, with multiple, if you're not with. That's something that people you hone in on that. That'll piss people. If that's all he's trying to do. He's just trying to get at them because he's being rejected. Um, and I already said this, it's stupid to do that. One, you look insecure. Two, the women are not going to change their mind. Three, you look less attractive to all the women watching. Yeah, that's why they pop their balloon. Because they're like, oh, that's how you talk nice to them. Thing. How are you going to talk to me when he doesn't like what he gets? It's like, you're not taking this well. And, 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 and the, rebuttal for what you, the rebuttal for what you really got is very questionable. Yeah. The amount of force you used to retaliate was not equivalent to whatever was thrown to you. Yeah. They have to calm down a bit. They're not even coming down How people take rejection, how people take no, how they come back from that, how they talk mm -hmm. afterwards mm -hmm. is incredibly important. Mm -hmm. It tells you how, how they're going to be with you as a friend, mm -hmm. as, as a, a co-worker, and as a partner. And mm -hmm. you have to be wary of that. These are the kinds of people you cannot trust because yeah. when they're hurt, they will grab at anything to hurt you back. Uh -huh. They will steal from you. They will take your shit. They will divulge your secrets. They will do whatever it takes. All right? And in some cases, I could even see a person like, if you told me this person puts their hands on their partner, I'm not surprised. It's not shocking. They cannot take no from a random person. Imagine when they're in an intimate relationship and they're not getting the results they want. It's not a stretch to not understand, like, this person got some anger issues. Anger does not always look like yelling. You can see it in the way his lips quiver when she says she don't like him for his skinny jeans. If a girl tell me she don't like me for my style, I'm like, cool, it's fine. T to me, getting angry about that, you know, he's not an unattractive person. Why are you getting so bent out of shape over rejection? You will have other women who are... But there's something wrong inside of him. Yep. And I'm very comfortable saying that. These are the kinds of behaviors that I always was very aware of from friends and coworkers and people around me. Seeing this in a dating context, like it, it would make me uneasy for sure. If we can start off with your name and age. I'm Shay and I'm 37. How you doing, Shay? I'm doing amazing. Shay, uh, what do you do? Um, so I work for the county. Right. And now, uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? So originally I was feeling it. I, I, I like, a, I don't want to say a bad boy, but I like somebody that's, that's outspoken. But the question of, I feel like you're challenging the women on how many baby daddies you got. And then, you know, it, it just, that's, it, does that matter? You say future. So that's they pass. It's not they Ooh. Ooh. Throw that back out. Oh, wow. wow. Throw that back out of me. She made a good observation. Y'all wow. remember what I said before? Mm -hmm. Wow. What did I say before? What was the first critique of this guy made? Mm -hmm. Wow. No, it wasn't that. It was, I said, 
how is this man 40? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so accepting of everyone's yeah. But no, not that. He literally said out of his own mouth that he doesn't care about a woman's past. That has nothing to do with, you know, her, her future with him. So he said, I'm from the ghetto. <laughs> I'll take you as you are. You're from the ghetto. You know that there are a lot of baby mamas in the ghetto. Let's be clear. So are you really accepting? Are you really that open-minded? And do you really have no deal breakers? Because it sounds like that's a deal breaker because you're talking so much shit about it. That's the, the point. I've been talking about some other shit. <laughs> She's an upgrade, yeah. And she clocked in. She's like, if you're so accepting of everyone's past, why are you constantly oh, yeah. critiquing the birthday baby daddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. I'm off about oh, this guy. My his, girl. his story don't make sense. Shay. 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 Shay, who the fuck my is girl. Shay? Yep. You unlocked it. Oh, the girl. You, know, <laughs> you unlocked it. Because we were, lo- we were looking for what it was. We found it. Oh, no, you, no, no, we, we didn't do shit. She cheated, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have one daughter, she's 19. Do you want more? I do. So then, so then you would then have multiple baby mamas. Thank you, Shay. Come on. Yeah, Shay. Okay. You don't want any more? You can't have any more. You, you no, choose not to Oh, that's, that's a weird have, question. Uh, 14-year-old in. Okay, yeah. Well, the reason for me more. asking their past about the baby daddies because it lets me know where they're going in their future. No, that ain't have, what you said. You have a baby daddy that's a contradiction. For the second time, then that lets me know that you was uncareful of what you're dealing with. Do you but that's the past. Somebody's past is they past that don't determine their future. Not because, that. I mean, I can look at you and say, say like, you, have, you, you made, people make mistakes. And it can happen. You I, said I feel that, like once Okay, some things become a choice, but no, no, no. Determined. When it comes to once, is a mistake. Twice, that's on you. Okay, so then say like you get into a relationship with somebody, you get married, and things don't work. So then I guess you made a mistake, or and then so you once is mistaken, and then twice is. I don't believe in that because I believe things happen. Sweetheart, twice is on you. Okay, you should have learned from that very Ooh. first mistake. Okay. Okay, and not saying that your child is a mistake, right? Of course. But the not. fact that you chose the wrong man to have kids with, and secondly, not to have a marriage. You think I've known people to be married for a long time and it don't work out, baby? So, you know, you are, no, you know, okay. you're too aggressive now. No problem. Exactly. Okay, you know, the aggressiveness, that comes from a southern man, right? right. Let me explain and we stand on what we talk about. come from Texas, so. Mm. <laughs> Period, Shay. Period, Shay. I'm from Texas. <laughs> and what about it? That's, that's not every southern man is not getting this aggressive, buddy. Calm the fuck down. Don't blame your behavior on your location. No, yeah, don't, don't blame, blame it on baby. Southern yeah. Man. Nope. Hi, my name is Shay, and I'm 37. Oh, another Shay. And Shay, what do you do? Shay. I am an insurance adjuster, and I'm just waiting to take my real estate license. Okay. Nice. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Just based off of the energy. I didn't want to pop it too soon. I like to fail you out first, but just based off of the energy and the conversations that were had between the women, just overall, that's it. Okay. So you were following? No. <laughs> I just, I went out. That's why I said I didn't pop it right away. I wanted to see for myself. So you didn't write my responses and the women that, that I responded to? You didn't like the responses? Just the energy from it, yeah. The energy is too strong for you. He huh? looking Not necessarily to too strong. I just just didn't too much care for And she's for keeping it. it cute. And no. he's trying that, to argue. That's, that's it. Little, he's little, looking little, for little, conflict. Little, 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 little. You a Thank follower. You name and age, Davinia, and I'm 41. And Davinia, what do you do? I'm a compliance analyst for a payment processing company. Okay. And what did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I popped my balloon. I was waiting because I was trying to feel the energy, the vibe, the connection, chemistry. And I believe he was speaking very well. Very suave, handsome gentleman. So I was trying to give it some time, but then it started to feel like an attack, and mm-hmm. I, I didn't like or agree with the attack. Mm-hmm. So that was why I popped my throat. Okay. So you say it felt like an attack? Can you elaborate on that? Um, you don't judge people from their past, or you like to start off with a clean slate. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think that if a relationship works out for a woman and it happens to be her second kids, her second baby daddy per se, um, I don't think that's her fault. So if she decides to stay and marry the man, how many like Brian says, then that means she's settling. And I don't agree with a woman having to settle just because the opinions of others thinking that, you know, it's going to be her fault. It's her fault because it didn't work out. No. Because people, they start off with different personas and then you slowly kind of learn who they really are. So if you decide to walk away because that situation isn't healthy for you, that doesn't mean that it's your fault that it didn't work out. Okay. Okay. What's she find So there's people? 4 billion women on the planet. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm a black American from Louisiana. Mm-hmm. I have the choice to, to, to have the pick of the litter. Mm-hmm. So why would I pick you if you have multiple baby daddies? Well, don't pick me. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And you I have the choice. That. You have the choice. But I, I have, have the, choice. I have the choice, but yeah. you're judging me on the fact that I have the choice. No, I'm not judging you. That just means that I'm not for you. If you're going to judge me because my second baby daddy didn't work out for me, then I'm not for you. Oh, you know, so I'm not judging and you. I don't understand your that. How many kids you have? I have three. You 25, have three? 18, and 12. Okay. How many baby daddies? Two. Two. Mm-hmm. Okay. So there's no, there's no disrespect towards that, right? Mm-hmm. But I just want you to understand when it comes to a man of top tier, right? Shut that shit off. Oh, we give you a few from one man. Mm-hmm. That's it. 
if you have multiple from a different man, mm -hmm. that, that, that disqualifies yourself. So it disqualifies a top tier woman from getting a top that's tier That's exactly man. right. Why? Because that's billions of women on this planet. Okay. All right. All right? Okay. If you got one by many, then it disqualifies you. You're a disqualifying. He's got a kid. He got to get any one more He's saying if you have more than one baby parent. He's going to have. He's, he's part of one. But you already got one. Say if he has a second one and they're not with that person, then that's But on the other side, he's part of a. For one woman, he's he's an add on to another woman. No, because if he gets with that woman, then the second one's the rep. That's the end of it. That's essentially what he's saying. By the second one, you should have already even figured it out. That's what he's saying. If I'm representing him honestly. All right. Uh, but it ain't going to work out because he's crazy. Come to things. <laughs> In his defense. I do think it's, it's wild that so many of these people have multiple that. baby daddies. I don't care what nobody says. That should not be something that we normalize or we accept. No, I agree. If it happens, it happens. I'm not going to go out no, and shame people. I don't for agree it, with kids at all. I feel like that's just too <laughs> wild. I think too many people <laughs> not wanting to commit to their partners but having babies with them. That's wild to me. Don't care what nobody says. You can come for me. You do that. Mistakes happen. Blah, blah, blah. Sure. Men shouldn't be none of these women. Women shouldn't let these dudes none of them. But some of y'all mm -hmm. not even committed deeply or even thinking about marriage and then having babies. Okay, the first time's fine. Second, third time, hope three times. That's crazy. That's crazy, that ain't right, in my opinion. But again, that's not something I would go up to people and say. In his defense, I can understand that. This dude's off. He's incredibly off. He's off with his response. I think everyone can kind of pick up on it, especially the women. And I tell people all the time at home how you handle rejection says so much about you, so just be careful. But yeah, I, I, I'm actually also surprised that some of these women got two to three baby days. I'm not. I'm going to tell you why I'm not. Oh. Because of uh, uh, their age group. And I've noticed something about the age group is the same as mine, right? And that age group. Our cousins from the South, United States. Oh, you mean it's from the South, okay. Yeah, okay. Can, you, United States and can I, I see that the United States, people in the United States tend to have kids, from what I've, I've seen, younger than us. Sure. A, a, a lot younger than us. Yeah. Like, sometimes, by the time some of my friends have one, some of these people already have two or three. They already have that thing. They like, they get, it's like they get out of college, boop, boop, left and right, left and right. If they get to college. If, if they do, but still, around that age, they like, they get... I think it's really a cultural thing because, like, throughout the U.S., I find that mm, there's more kids sooner. Yeah, yeah there, 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 there's definitely like a baby daddy culture thing that's super normalized. Where I notice even sometimes, like, I'll go in the shade room and they'll be like, "Well, that's what you get for being for talking about your baby daddy that way." And the other, that's what you get for picking the wrong baby daddy or whatever. It's like, why is there even a choice of baby daddy? Like, there should be either the person you're going to marry or have as a life partner. Mm -hmm. Why is this even a discussion about baby daddies and all this other stuff? Uh, to me, it's ghetto and it's kind of gross uh, that it's so normalized and how they speak about it. I understand things happen, but it should not be that common. That's crazy. That's crazy. Fuck my baby daddy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he did not seem to like these baby mamas too much. But he's a baby daddy. But I guess to Alba's point, um, he's saying that, oh, you should make the mistake once, but not a second time. <laughs> but it's like, um, you don't know if you're going to stay with the second person. So we can say the same thing about you, sir. Because he said he want more kids. So what if you get with someone... And it doesn't work like, but you want more kids, then is that really an issue? If you have a kid with that person, then you end up having two baby mamas. So, I mean, I kind of understand how it happens with people. I feel like people are just really judgmental. Um, and, and people definitely get married. Um, so, I wonder, does that change things? Because you get married and have kids in marriages, and then it doesn't work, and then you move on. So, I wonder, does his opinion change on women who are married um, to their previous partners? But usually, that's not the case, if we're being honest. A lot of women who have multiple baby daddies, they didn't marry any of them. But, you know, it's a whole different conversation. He was a mess, though. Let, let's be clear. <laughs> that is the focal point. He was a hot-ass mess. Um, and he was just very salty when these women were rejecting him, but they rejected him for good reason. So there's that. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.